Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've done a haul, so today I'm gonna be doing a holiday haul for you guys. Also, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in this video. I partnered with Ebates, and they are giving my subscribers money, honey. 10 winners are gonna win $200 gift cards from Ulta. I'm gonna put the details of the giveaway in the description box below. Unfortunately, the giveaway is only US and I always feel so bad, so I will be hosting another giveaway soon on my own for everyone to enter as well, so if you're bummed, don't worry. I love doing giveaways around the holidays, so thank you Ebates. If you guys don't know what Ebates is, like you need to know yesterday. I've been shopping through Ebates since my mother-in-law like told me to because she's super into like coupons and saving money. And basically what it is is just like an online website where you go and in that website there's like a bunch of different stores that you could shop under. It gives you cash back for shopping at stores you already shop at normally like Bloomingdale's, Macy's, Ulta. I'm just naming the stores that I usually shop at. Honestly the list goes on and sometimes you get more cash back than others so the percentages go up and down. Right now from the 21st of November to the 27th of November for the holidays there's double cash back so you're saving a lot of money so if you guys are doing holiday shopping and you want to save some money I definitely recommend Ebates it's totally legit some people ask me if it's legit because it's almost too good to be true but I've been shopping there forever if you're into online shopping I would check it out and if you want to enter the giveaway like I said check the description box down below and let's go ahead and get started with the haul. So the first thing I ordered is from NYX and I thought this was such a good gift idea. I don't have any gifts in mind yet as to who I'm gonna give things to. I just kind of got things that I could give to other people or maybe even do giveaways with. You guys know I love the NYX creams and at first when I was thinking about buying them, I was thinking about just doing all my favorite nudes and making that into a gift. But then I saw this and I was like, no, 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 I gotta get this. Some of my favorites, oh, I wish I could see the colors. But like I can look at the bottles and know that they're my favorites. You guys know I love London. You guys know I love Stockholm. You guys know I love Abu Dhabi. And I love this one. And I forget the name, but it's like the orange fiery red. I love orange fiery reds. The price of all of these, it was $64. I feel like this is such a good gift idea for whoever I decide to give this to. Next we have the Revlon curling iron. I'm a huge fan of just drugstore curling irons. I've had all these expensive curling irons and personally I always just buy drugstore ones like Conair and Revlon. I've never tried this curling iron. I actually bought this for myself. This is not a gift. I got this for me. Really I just got it because it was rose gold and white and I thought it was really pretty and Revlon just hasn't really failed me as far as hair tools yet. This is the one inch barrel. This is what I use to do those like really nice beachy, messy type waves. It says it has rose gold technology. I didn't know rose gold had technology, but it says it's a 30 second heat up, 30 heat settings, high heat, constant heat, so much heat. I don't really think there's anything that special to it. This rose gold technology that I'm not aware of. So this next thing I also purchased just for me because I wanted to try it out. It's been a while since I've purchased the new drugstore stuff. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Contour Palette. It's the first time I saw it and it has a shimmer cream highlight, a cool tone, which I appreciate, a cool tone cream highlight, and then I think this is just like a bronzier highlight. I grabbed it because I liked, ooh. Obviously, I, I didn't I couldn't swatch it. You know, you can't swatch things. That's the only downside of buying things online. But I, I got it because I appreciated that the brown was like a cool tone contour color. Because if you try to contour your nose with orange, your nose looks orange. So I, I got it for that reason. But I think it's not going to work on my skin tone now that I swatched it. Because that's really ashy for my skin tone. They have different shades. Maybe if I would have got the darker shade, it would have worked out. And maybe this might work better on fair skin. Uh, let me try the highlight. Hold, please. The cream highlight is okay. It doesn't seem to like really be giving it to me. It's not all of that. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this contour highlight palette. It's not really working for me. I just, that's the first time I swatched it was here on camera. So you saw that first. Next, we have a Real Techniques sponge. I haven't decided whether I'm gifting this or I'm keeping it but I'm probably gonna keep it because I've never tried it before. Do you like how I said this is like a holiday gift thing and I'm just keeping everything? It would make a good stocking stuffer if you need gift ideas. This is one of their sponges, which I haven't seen before. It has a flat shape at the top and then it has a pointy shape. So I feel like this would be really good for baking the under eyes with that flat part. It has the 
perfect shape to bake the under eyes. I thought that this bottom part would be really good for blending out the contour on your nose. So that's really why I picked this up. I think I'm just gonna keep this so that I could test it for you guys. So I'm just gonna put this in my keep pile. So next I got this Pacifica nail polish. Obviously it's nude, surprise, surprise. I don't know why you guys let me get red nails. I knew I was gonna regret it. My nail technician knew I was gonna regret it. She actually told me you will be back in four days for a polish change. And then she told me four days because she's going out of town. So basically she said, no, you have to have red nails for at least four days. I liked it like the first two days. And then I was like, oh my God, it doesn't match like all my outfits. And when I tried to do like makeup pictures and I had like all this nude stuff going on on my face, I just wanted my nails to be nude and they were just red. So I was like, I need to get a new nude nail polish. And I wanted to get one that was a little bit more on the brownie side, not so much the pink side. Oh, and just so you guys know, this is vegan and cruelty free. We like that. I think this is gonna be a good one. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm gonna take this to my nail appointment next. So clearly this is for me. All right, so this next thing I'm really, really excited about. You guys know I was trying to find a fragrance for a long time and I have so many perfumes that I like. Of course I switch through perfumes like everybody does, but I think this is like the new new for me. It's the YSL Black Opium Perfume. If somebody were to get me this as a gift, I would be really happy because when you're thinking about getting people gifts and you don't know what to get them, it's never a bad thing to get them their perfume that they already love because it's something that you repurchase and when somebody else gets it for you and it's like in a pretty set, I just feel like it's exciting. Ooh, look at this, how pretty and cute this is. I just love gift sets. They're just so easy. It comes with a one fluid ounce perfume bottle and then it also comes with one of those little travel size bottles that you can put in your purse. You know, you're so busy, you don't have time, you're just on the go. I don't know who I'm gonna give this to and I can't really say because if you're watching my video and you get it, then you're just, you know, it's gonna ruin the surprise. So next, I got something that's like a refill for me. I got the NYX brush cleaner. I really think the NYX brush cleaner is very good. I don't know whether if I could say that the MAC one is better than the NYX one or the NYX one's better than the MAC. I like them both. This is like a really good price. It's a drugstore brush cleaner, so I've purchased multiple bottles of this and it always comes through for me. So this is just something I picked up because I need brush cleaner always on deck. Every time I finish talking about a product, I'm like, wait, I'm keeping that too. What did I buy for other people around here? So next I have another one of my favorite items that I purchased so many times. This is the Frizzy's Miraculous Recovery Repairing Conditioner. It's just like a really good conditioner that I like to use as a mask. I don't like to use it every single day, but I like to use it as a mask because it's really rich. And I feel like afterwards, when I blow out my hair if it's feeling extra dry it just gets smooth and silky and you can get it at drugstore it's not like a super expensive conditioner so it's a good one. Oh, I did get the darker one hold on I have to have Sven open it for me thank you Svenka alright let's try this one hopefully this one's better this is the bronze one this is the other palette and then oh you know what this actually is a good tone it's still a little bit ashier. I'd have to try it on my face, but it's not as bad as the, the lighter one for me. I think it might work. Let me see the cream highlight. Like I said, the cream highlight's okay. It's not like spectacular, but it's not terrible. The bronze highlight, I probably wouldn't use, but I, I assume they put a lighter and a darker so that multiple skin tones can work with this palette. So I could probably only use these two. I'm gonna try to use them in a video and see, see what's up. We'll see. Oh, cool. Honestly, I'm the worst because I, I also want to keep this, but I think it may be a gift. Who knows? N nothing here seems to be a gift yet. I'm, I'm deciding to keep everything as I talk about it. This is the Giorgio Armani Di Air. Let's just call it Air because it says air here. This perfume I smelled in store and I'm a huge fan of Giorgio Armani. I love the Giorgio Armani cologne for men. Which one do you wear, honey? Aqua Di Gio. Oh God, I love that smell. It's like a classic scent. It's like one of those smells that every time I smell it, it, it just does something to me, okay? Yeah, it does. Steven's like, I think I might keep it for myself, honestly, because I'm giving away the other perfume, so I want to try a new one. I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> So the next thing I got were bobby pins. This is super boring, but it's just something that I picked up. I feel like bobby pins and hair ties disappear so quickly. It's like you buy them a whole pack and next thing you know, you can't find one anywhere. So I'm at the point where I have none anywhere. Like, you know, when you go into your drawer and you look deep for bobby pins, nothing. I've cleaned it dry. So I just picked up um, some Hot Tools ones. There's 60 in here. So will that last two days? I don't know why these things excite me, but this is a banana hand milk hand cream. And this is definitely for me. Pretty sure that Karen, I love Serai, bought this when we were in Paris. And it smells so good. It, mm, 
Like every single time Karen used it while we were in Paris for the rest of the trip, she smelled so good and I, I feel like I used a lot of it. And I think I saw it in her purse by the end of the trip like shriveled up, like all of it was gone. It smells exactly like the banana runts. And it's so cute too. Like I feel like if you just whip this out of your purse, I don't know, I kind of like things like this. Super cute. <laughs> so I guess I did end up picking up two of the nude lipsticks that I picked out from NYX. I'm pretty sure I took all the rest of them out, but I, I kept these for some reason, I don't know why. And I think I'm just gonna use them as stocking stuffers. I like these lip crayons uh, by NYX, the nude ones. I've, I've pretty much only gravitated toward nude ones because that's all I do, you guys know that. This is in the shade 05, just a lip crayon. I think I'm gonna put that in a stocking stuffer. And this is the matte lipstick by NYX, and it's in the shade Sable. Also gonna put this in a stocking stuffer. I feel like I can just make stockings for all my friends and it'll be like all my favorite nudes like nude nail polishes, lipsticks, glosses, nude hoodie. If you guys like this hoodie, by the way, it's from Shop Rebel. Super cute, they make really cute nude hoodies. You're That's just, a good idea, huh? You're just gonna give all your friends your nudes. I'm just gonna give friends nudes. Okay, and the last thing I picked up was this makeup bag. This is a large clear makeup bag and I love these kinds because when it's clear you can see everything that's inside. When you travel you want kind of like a bigger size. This is perfect. It's a medium size makeup bag. It's not too big. It's not too small. You can pretty much fit... Steven's not going to believe me when I... You can't fit... I can't fit all my makeup in here but... <laughs> But that's because I have problems, okay? That's because I'm I'm like a different breed. I have I have issues. Even though you guys know I'm gonna wear the same nude makeup that I wear all the time, I still bring like every single eyeshadow because I think maybe in the slight chance that I'm gonna wear a green smoky eye with glitter, do I bring all my glitters and all that stuff? But I never end up wearing it all. Let me put some stuff in here so you guys can see what it looks like. It's super cute. Just filling it up with all my things. Okay, I think that's good enough. Just gonna make a mess here. There you go. I could fit all my face products in here. That's basically what I would put in here. It's just nice because when you travel, you can see everything that's in there. It's not like buried in this deep makeup bag. They also had different sizes, and I was thinking about just getting all the different sizes. When I get to my hotel, I like to just lay them all out and have one bag for face, one bag for lips, one bag for eyes, you know, etc., etc. But isn't this cute? Like, it's just perfect. Cheeky, beaky. Now I have to put everything back. All right, so that is it for my haul. I realize now, looking back, that I thought I was gonna be gifting a lot of this stuff, but now maybe keeping some of it. But I hope that at least you guys got some good ideas. I thought my nudes, best of nudes idea was good. So there's that idea. Good luck on the giveaway if you guys decide to enter. Don't forget, everything is gonna be in the description box. It's probably gonna be a Google Doc because that's just the easiest and the most fair. And I'll also link Ebates if you guys wanna check that out. Thank you guys so much. Good luck on the giveaway and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Why are you looking at me weird? Whatever. Ooh. Well, and what the <gasps> Did you see that? I <gasps> well, and what the f what? There was an ant on my face. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go. Honestly, spiders up in here. I'm shook.